Oh, but then I got inspiration from Bollywood, the same story how they remix and then see me as a customer. So I thought if they can do it, why can't I do it? So that was a true inspiration for me. Inspiration uh, at OSI, this this, this yes, function. Yeah, yeah. So so it has been it has been seven years since 2015 we have been running. We are right now around 12,000 members across the world. We are around 13 cities across the world. You and joined a global community or you started it I in India? I am the co-founder for the JavaScript meetup. Global, we started global. from scratch, yes, yes. Yeah, we started very local Bangalore, but then thanks to pandemic and others, it really spread and we were able to do online events and that helped. So we conducted around 70 plus meetups in offices with zero cost thanks to Bangalore and the corporate world. They have been very generous in offering spaces. I really do not know next month who is going to offer me the space. But you'll get it. Sure yeah, sure you'll get it. <laughs> so, so that kind of confidence is what instilled in me because of the community that we have. So, there are many people in various ways they are contributing. Sometimes they may be just to say the brand image of that uh, building and others. But then there is an amazing community. In terms of participants and active users compared to 12,000 members that we have, on Meetup if I have to see and add up all the active people, it may be in the range of 700 to 800. That's quite high. Yeah. And, and, and in Meetup alone we are around 400 to 500, but in general the active members are these. Are these stories are interesting of how things happened, how it started. Yeah. 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 And over a period, what I realized is, if I have to take credit for whatever happened in all those uh, activities, I think we built a lot of leaders who have their own imagination to drive things. And you'll see the impact in years to come much more. And, and, and we have already seen that one single member who, is, who, is, who did the first talk in our meetup, he himself started a community and in our community in six months, he created 2,000 people joining our meetup. In another area? In, uh, in, in JavaScript meetup, yeah. in our group, whatever, okay. 12,000, the 2,000 is contribution just yeah. by one member. Yeah. Wow. He conducted things like interviews, he was very creative and all. So he started his own meetup, yet another meetup. But I'm just saying the power of one person, what they, they achieve. These stories are important. Yeah, yeah. So, so don't go with the number of people and others. Sometimes initial hiccups are always there. For example, uh, when we started with 10 members, we didn't know who will be coming, how it will operate. The unknown world, it is like, you know, it is it is like a uh, exploration in the forest. You don't know uh, how you will be communicating with the next one, but things will happen in place and then a lot of wonderful things happen. So, that has been my experience. Yeah. <laughs> Serendipity is what we believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Cool. So, my name is Vishal. I'm CTO and founder of InfraCloud Technologies. We primarily work with the Cloud Native Computing Foundation that Sunil was mentioning earlier. Vishal, you're too fast. I know. <laughs> uh, I'll go a little slow. In so, Bangalore, we speak at three speeds, as they say. Fast, faster, and faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I'm fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, so I think I bring uh, three different perspectives. Uh, one is uh, I started the Kubernetes Pune meetup uh, way back in 2016. Today, we are around 2,400 members, huh. focused on very local face-to-face -face interactions and you know teaching other folks these technologies. And obviously, the away from the hustle and bustle of Bangalore or you know places like that, right? That is one perspective. Uh, the second is, uh, we started an open source project internally called BotCube, uh, 2018 late, in a hackathon. We open sourced it, we got a lot of you know, PRs, a lot of contributions, and you know, What's it? Uh, BotCube. Okay. And over time we kept it developing, we got 1000 plus users in the community using it, all free. What, what kind of solution is that? It's a monitoring solution, but uses chat ops as a primary right. medium. And eventually it got an investment from a VC firm, majority stake. Right. So that was like a good success story, you know, from beginning an in-house in -house project to making it successful, so to speak. The third is I'm maintainer of a project called Fission. It's a function as a service platform uh, runs on top of Kubernetes. I started contributing, I think, 2017 or so. Over time, you know, took up the project, uh, evangelized it more, and you know, I still maintain the project uh, broadly. So I think these three experiences from community uh, starting a project and you know, adopting and maintaining a project uh, is where my community connection comes. In. So uh, hi everyone. Uh, I am a devrel at Boxy HQ, but that's something that's apart from my work. Uh, I'm also evangelizing about uh, SaaS, uh, Web3 projects as well because they are very much core at open source and decentralization. And uh, I built communities uh, within the cloud native ecosystem for one of the projects called Data on Kubernetes with Bart Farrell. Uh, and then apart from that, uh, built communities in mentorship uh, on the SaaS platform that we had uh, focused around US and then uh, Indian mentors and uh, one problem that I personally face and I wanted to solve within the community is that I come from a commerce background and if you are from India and you want to break in tech there is a lot of misconceptions that you cannot do 
including my own family telling me that you cannot do it because the companies will never uh, take your degree if you have to do it done something like bb and all you can never get into tech stuff right so my major agenda for like building this entire community was that getting people from all the backgrounds and that inclusivity that you have right when people say ah we are very inclusive but then you tell me that you cannot contribute to a project because you don't have that tech stack why don't you teach them within the community right that's a very important thing so i started off with you know recognizing those people who were doing amazing job uh, eventually helping them out with their own uh, career as well and you know mentoring them as well and that has been something that i've been doing in this space and supporting women and stuff also specifically because in india the women ecosystem in open source it's still on a we need to go there right like you can see the number of people who would probably join us in the conference and even in our panel session so that gap is there and that's something that i'm trying to solve no no i mean eventually it's going it, it eventually it's going to come no, but out the but the numbers are lacking the numbers yeah. are still lacking in women i think you can probably justify that but that's something that has been seen in across like indian no, sats I, i don't have numbers <laughs> you should have numbers actually we need numbers for that but yeah no, no, interestingly, <laughs> interestingly we did a survey because yeah. i ran the meet up almost 70 meters yeah. we ran in general i see the pop 50 members have turned out only one or two will be girls mm. okay yeah. Yeah. then in bangalore kind of place and in a place also i was curious to learn more and more reasons so whatever reasons i heard were not really tally okay yeah. for example it's not safe we conduct a day like okay we are yeah. conducting <laughs> right? yeah. and i see enough people in bangalore who go to the malls exactly. and other like even late so exactly. there's yeah. no reason yeah. for them to feel even that even i would agree i think it is the it's point is about it's probably awareness. a role model thing role model or i don't know what uh, maybe what target. is it for me yeah. in fact the target that yeah. in the community itself yeah. like in our uh, mm. uh, tomorrow's panel discussion we target a person a uh, woman from particular company yeah these are and different companies we yeah. ask them you have to come first yeah. experience but just come it's fine yeah. okay. these brazilians yeah. had started linux chick and all chicks and those kind of things see <laughs> chai yeah. xia yeah they had a yeah. group yeah. there are different uh, issues but i don't know the if it's just nothing there is always that entry barrier like she mentioned yeah, yeah. is a huge one i think yeah. so and i think that's also so miss one suggestion yeah. you know you can probably just ask the audience look around the room mm. you know yeah. all no. you all you <laughs> yeah. folks who are there why don't you bring around your friends as well yeah why yeah. to kind why of friends they could ask from them why why some girlfriends let's say star friends <laughs> 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 